there everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new Not A Card project featuring Lawn Fawn's adorable Valentine release. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made some really sweet treat bags. These would be perfect for not just candy, but you could throw small gifts inside, gift cards, whatever it is you want to give for Valentine's Day to somebody you love, whether it's a friend, family member, or your special someone. I think anybody would love getting a treat bag like this. So I'm gonna show you how I made them and we're gonna start first by the coloring that I did with a lot of the beavers that are from two different stamp sets in the release. I have all the products that I'm using today listed below in the video description. So if you're interested in anything, you can find it all there. As you can see, I used Copic markers to color my images. And for the beavers, I colored each one of them the exact same way. So I did a light brown body and a dark brown tail. Then for any areas that had little hearts like this here, I colored the heart with some RV markers. For all the tree trunks, I used similar browns that I used for the beavers themselves. The coloring was quick and easy. The assembly of the bag is the part that I'm really excited to share with you because I did a few different techniques to decorate the bags themselves. So these bags are craft bags you can get here at Simon Says Stamp. I'll, those are also linked below in the video description. And I'm taping one of the new stencils from Lawn Fawn onto the bag with some very, very low tack tape. Then through the stencil, I'm going to apply some Transfer Gel Duo and that's going to dry clear so that way we can foil this heart design onto our bag. Once I have applied the paste, then I'll carefully remove the stencil and clean it before the paste has a chance to dry. The bag is going to get set aside to dry as well, and once it's dry, all of the hearts will be completely clear, as you can see here. I'm going to pull out some red foil. This happens to be from Gina K Designs. Any toner foil will work for this technique. I'm using the Gina K Red Velvet for this particular bag. I'm going to lay this inside of a carrier sheet. So the bag goes first, then the foil pretty side up is laid on top. Normally I would have probably added a piece of cardstock to help prevent any warping of the foil, but because this bag is pretty thick, it's all folded up, I decided to skip adding a piece of cardstock so that way it didn't get too thick for my machine. Here's our beautiful transfer completed. I love those foiled hearts on the craft bag. It's such a cute look. From an older Lawn Fawn set, I pulled out these grassy hillsides and I cut a couple of them from some light green cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. These are gonna create nice bottom borders for our bags and they look really cute with the beavers. To attach them, I use some Simon Says Stamp Terrific Tape and I'll just stick that onto the bottom portion of the bag and trim off any excess to clean up the edges. In the Lawn Fawn Valentine release, there is this really cute heart garden border. I'm going to cut this from some pink cardstock and this will look really sweet behind my grassy hillside. This will add just a nice bit of pink color and some interest to the background. With the coordinating dies, I cut out all of my images that I had colored, and I'm gonna mix and match these images to create some fun scenes on my bags. This one here I really loved. I took two of the beavers and one of the logs, and I'm going to add a little bow tie to the beaver on the ground. I think that looks so sweet together. In the heart garland landscape and portrait die sets, there are some really great banner dies. I'm going to use a mix of all of these banners to create some nice sentiments on my cards. I'm also going to use this Happy Valentine's Day die from Simon Says Stamp and one of the greetings from the Would You Be Mine stamp set. I'm going to stamp that sentiment twice with some ocean ink onto some surf cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. That gives me a nice dark greeting color on top of the blue paper. And for this particular banner, it has some score lines on it. So I'm gonna fold on those score lines to create this dimensional banner. How cute is that? I'm pairing this with the Happy Valentine's Day die. I cut it from some guava cardstock from Lawn Fawn and I stacked it on top of the white shadow layer. This will look really cute above our sub sentiment that says, miss you a log. I mean, how adorable is that pun? I used foam tape and some double-sided adhesive to attach both of these greetings down. And that's going to complete bag number one. As you can see, this wasn't too hard to put together, but a lot of really fun elements came together here to make this really sweet scene on this bag. Another technique that I did for the bags was I foiled onto them. I'm using Lawn Fawn's new wood green foil plate and some gold foil to foil onto this craft bag. I made sure to let my plate warm up for a little bit, about 20 seconds or so before I went ahead and actually took it out of the platform. So now this has been undocked. I'm going to take this platform and the two coordinating clear plates that go on top 
and I'll run that through my Platinum 6 die cut machine. When I remove the foil, you're gonna see that the middle section didn't foil all that great. I'm okay with that though, because I'm gonna cover the middle section with patterned paper. The reason it didn't foil so cleanly was because on the sides, you've got all that extra material from the sides of the bags. So that's adding more pressure to the sides and then the middle isn't getting as much pressure. So you're losing that pressure in the middle because it's uneven. But we're gonna resolve that by taking some cute pattern papers and I used this Simon Says Stamp Chunky Slimline Rectangle Die to cut out these papers. These are really fun Valentine papers that I have linked below in the video description. And they looked so cute with the beavers. I also die cut the heart garland that came in the heart garland landscape die set. And I used different colors of paper to cut that out, including some glitter paper. Anything that's hanging off the edges, I will just make sure to take my fine tip scissors and trim off. So that way we have nice clean edges on the sides of our bags. These are coming together so well. They look so fun with all their little extra details. I added a couple of greetings. One is this fancy love sentiment that I put right in the middle of my scene. And then I used a sub sentiment with one of the little banners to finish everything off. Here's one more project that I made. I loved the washi tape that Lawn Fawn came out with. How fun is this heart pattern? So I decided to stick this onto some white cardstock because I want to create a border with this. But of course, it's slightly translucent, so I don't want to see the pattern paper from behind the washi tape. So I put it on white, so that way we have a nice solid background behind it. And then this will glue right down on top of our bag. That's going to finish off the bottom there where the rectangle terminated, and that's going to look really, really sweet. I love the combination of colors in this pattern paper and how they paired so well with the colors that I used for my treat bags. For the greeting, I pulled out this really cool Love Ya die. It's a heart with the word Love Ya inside of it. I think that is so sweet and I die cut it from a couple of different papers inspired by the pattern paper I'm using on my bag. So I have pink and also soft navy and I just used some liquid glue to glue all these little pieces back into place to form the greeting. My beavers are going to get stuck down onto the bottom portion of this bag. And then finally, a sub sentiment underneath that says, I choose you was the perfect finishing touch. So there you have it, three fun bag ideas that you can make with Lawn Fawn's adorable Valentine release. Like I said, these are something that you could fill with candies or fun little gifts that you want to give to somebody during Valentine's Day. I hope you were inspired by this project. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to come back and share more with you all. But until then, I hope you have a fabulous day and thanks for watching. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.